Hi there, thanks for checking out TCG Alerts. The goal of this video is to welcome you and walk you through a few of the key components and features that we have on our new dashboard system. We're going to teach you how to find pairs, we're going to teach you how to set up and delete your alerts, how to visualize those alerts on our embedded chart platform, and we're going to teach you how to pause those alerts so you only get them when you need them. So to get started, once we're logged in, all we got to do is press our go-to dashboard, which loads up the default screen. Our dashboard is broken up into three main components. We have our markets component, which contains a list of all of our tickers, pairs, and shows the current pricing and the 24 hour loss or gain. We have our watch list, which shows the same information. In the middle, we have our chart. And on the right hand side, we have our edit alert dashboard function. So the chart itself is comprised of the 15 minute, 30 minute, 60 minute, four hour and daily intervals. Indicators include volume, RSI, and MACD. You can turn those on or off as you choose. On the left-hand side, as I mentioned, we have a list of all of our tickers. You can filter those by exchange or by pairing. Once you have alerts set up, you can select to see only pairs that you have alerts for. And down at the bottom, we have our watch list where you can add or remove pairs you don't necessarily have alerts on, but you want to be able to monitor the prices for and switch back and forth those charts with relative ease. So let's get into some of the more detailed videos. We'll start with how to find your favorite pair. In this video, we're going to be reviewing how you find your favorite pairs to add alerts to them. You have a couple of options on the TCG alert system. On the left-hand side of the menu, we can see that we have all of the pairs listed organized alphabetically, and you can either sort through this very long list, or you can drill down and filter by two drop-down menus, which allow you to select the exchange and your favorite pairing. In this case, I can select ETH, on Bitfinex, and we can see all of the ETH pairs available. If there are pairs missing from this system that you would like added, please let us know. We will do our very best to get those implemented for you. Now we've selected our favorite pair. We simply press the button to load that pair into our chart, and we can see that 15-minute chart populate perfectly here. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up and delete alerts in the TCG Alert system. And in order to do that, all you need to do is have your favorite pair selected. And on the right hand side, you'll see a black arrow. If you press that arrow, it will load out a panel in which you'll see an add alert button. Simply press that add alert button. This will populate a list of all of the available alerts and timeframes and simply select which alerts you would like to see on which timeframes and then hit submit. This will subscribe you to these alerts and at this point you will be receiving alert notifications through telegram and or email depending on how you have configured your account. In order to edit these alerts, all you need to do is press the edit alert button, uncheck which alerts you no longer wish to receive, or in the case that you want to delete all of the alerts on a specific pair, simply press the delete alerts button which will remove all alert subscriptions. One of the new features of the TCG alert system is that it allows you to see your alerts embedded directly in your charts. This allows you to validate how effective these alerts can be and help you decide which alerts you want to be subscribed to at any given time. So on our right hand side we are subscribed to three alert types, an abnormal volume, an RSI 70 cross, and an RSI 30 cross. These are indicated on the arrows on our chart and we can see that the color of these arrows correlates directly to the legend that we see in the menu. So our abnormal volumes are black and our RSI crosses are pink. Now in order to determine which is a 70 and a 30 cross, we can simply toggle one of these off. And as you can see, toggling them on or off can remove all alerts from your chart or simply allow specific alerts to be shown. This is very, very useful when you are on a pair that has many alerts on it. As you can see, they become very cluttered very quickly and it can be hard to get a read on what's happening in the market. By isolating your favorite alerts, you can determine how effective they are. In this case, we have abnormal volumes catching the highs and lows of the current equilibrium on the BTC USD hourly chart. Pausing alerts on the new TCG system is incredibly easy. All you need to do is select your time frame and the pair for which you want to pause alerts on, populate your alert menu, and then you have a few different options available. You can simply press the active button to initiate a pause state on your alert. Now when you're ready to start receiving alerts again, you can reactivate them by pressing the button. And this will reactivate your alerts and you will start receiving that specific alert type again. Now remember you need to do this for all alerts on each time frame. And to make it a little faster, we have added a pause all alerts button and an activate all alerts button. Also, you can activate the pause schedule. You can select all of the alerts available on a specific pair 
and pause them until a given time applying the schedule. You will not receive alerts for that pair on all of the alerts you've selected until the time you have indicated.